Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. All right, on today's episode, we're going to take a look at the air conditioning on the Super B. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so what's going on here? It's been uh, over a decade since I uh, put the AC system on this car. It's a plain factory air conditioning setup. Uh, it's the one the car came with. Um, but I notice now it's, it seems to be losing a little Freon. So I am going to take a look at it, see if I can figure out where it's going. I'm going to get some dye in the system and we'll fix whatever's leaking and get it taken care of. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get to work on this. All right, so here's the compressor and then all the lines, of course, that go back to the firewall. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little dye in here. This is the uh, low side, and uh, I'm going to shoot a little dye in. And then I'm also going to get um, some more uh, Freon in the system so the AC system will work, and uh, we'll see where the dye comes out. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is get, the, uh, get it hooked up to the uh, AC machine, and I'm going to suck it down and see if there's anything in it yet and then also i'm going to see if it's if it's holding a vacuum or not um so i can find out exactly you know what's what's going on with it so um here let me bring you around and i'll show you what i'm hitting on the ac machine all right so i'm just going to hit manual uh here i'm going to go recovery and then go and at this point it's going to suck down well i gotta finish the rest of the steps i guess the couplers are connected to the vehicle hit next open the couplers by turning the knob i did that when i hooked them up and then open the machine valves that's these on the machine so i open those up and then i'm going to hit go and it's going to start sucking down or sucking anything that's in the in the system out so we'll be able to uh, uh, see if there's anything in there. All right, something that I'll talk about while this is getting sucked down is the uh, condenser, which is this right here. It's that radiator looking thing. And you can tell this is actually an R12 condenser by how big the tubes are that not only run through it, you know, horizontally here, um, how big they are on the ends. The uh, 134A, condensers have much much smaller tubes so that's one quick way that you can tell the difference between the two systems you can see on this side over here you know it's the same thing they're they're big tubes um, i have converted this system to 134a um, so i'm that's what i'm going to you know continue to do is using the 134a on this the systems are not quite as efficient um, as you know using the correct refrigerant in them but they still work just fine uh, the big thing is you gotta you're supposed to take the oil out of the system now when i put this car together you know basically everything on the ac uh, was replaced so there was no oil in it so i just used the correct oil for the 134a okay so the system just finished. It said there was no refrigerant in it. Basically, you can see the uh, zero kilograms there. I'm gonna switch that to pounds in a second. Um, but it is holding a good vacuum. Um, so, you know, whatever leak there is must not be uh, very big at all. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a leak test on this system and uh, see if I can, you know, if it passes or fails the leak. If it, if it passes, what I'm going to do is put dye in it and put uh, refrigerant in it. And uh, so that way, if we lose some again, uh, we'll know where it's coming from. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and uh, run the uh, leak test on this. All right, so we're going to hit done. I'm going to exit. I'm going to switch this to pounds all 
All right, and then I'm going to do the vacuum test. I'm going to do uh, a longer leak test on it and, uh, you know, see what happens there. And, uh, well, let's hit go and uh, see what happens. They're connected. Turn the knobs. Open the machine valves. They're still open. So here it goes. Just going to run the test. This is going to take a while. Uh, so I'll come back and show you guys the results at the end. This thing is, you know, sucked down right to 30, basically. So that's exactly, you know, where you want it to be. Uh, we got a new gauge order. This gauge is not working right now. Um, so we'll get that one put in as soon as we get it. All right, something else we'll talk about here as long as I got the hood open. I've had quite a few people comment and go, your engine's the wrong color. It's supposed to be orange. Well, from everything I've read and when I had this engine out of the car and looked at the original color of the engine, it's turquoise. And I, I've done a lot of research on it and everything points me in the same direction that it is supposed to be turquoise. Um, so when these cars came from the factory with factory air conditioning, like this car did, um, they got non-HP engines. In other words, they just got 383 four-barrel engines, and they were not the HP versions. And the factory AC cars got the turquoise-colored engines. So uh, this is indeed the correct color engine for this car. And, you know, like I say, when I dug down initially when I had the engine out and started peeling back the layers. The original color of this engine was turquoise. So, um, you know, that in my mind um, agrees with all the research that I've found. So uh, just a little nugget for you. All right. So as you can see, we're starting to go into the uh, actual vacuum test portion rather than, you know, we came out of the suck down portion. Um, so that'll tell me um, you know, if it considers there to be any leaks in here or not. Um, these systems, even when they were brand new, um, they did not last forever like modern cars did. You know, you had to get your AC serviced every, you know, every couple, two, three, four years uh, to keep them up and running. So um, this is, you know, I almost consider this to just be totally normal. Um, I've had to put Freon in here one other time, so... Um, I'm almost kind of suspecting that there's maybe not a leak in here, but we'll find out in a little bit. All right, there's definitely not a massive leak in this system anyway. This thing would have definitely shut off by now. Um, you know, we're getting, so we're almost through the, the leak test portion. We got uh, just under three minutes um, to go yet. Um, but if there was a massive leak, it would have shut off right away. All right, it's gone into the holding process now. That's where it went green again. So it's just holding a vacuum, and it's going to see if, you know, if it's if it's losing whatever the machine determined is the amount that it can lose. Um, we're still, you know, at minus 30 up there. So, um, you know, we're holding a real good vacuum on this system. So um, I got high hopes. There's really nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and put a little dye in it. Um, you know, just as a precautionary thing, and that way if anything happens down the road, um, you know, I, I'll be able to see where it is. Okay, so the leak down test finished. It said all was good. I got the green check mark, and, uh, you know, it, it held down. So at this point, you know, I guess I'm just going to throw some dye in it and uh, charge it up and see what happens. All right, let's throw a little dye in it right away. All right, we're gonna get on over to the refrigerant charge. This is going to take 2.7 pounds is uh, roughly what I figured out that this takes. Um, we'll hit the go button.
All right, it's putting it in. This part really isn't that exciting. It just feeds refrigerant through the lines and into the car. You can see here on the low side, it's uh, shooting refrigerant in. You know, the pressure's increasing in the system while it's going in. So we're about there. It's just kind of finalizing it right now, and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so the next step here, start the car engine, turn the AC system on. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Alright, the AC system is running, the compressor's on. I can only read the low side pressure right now. We're right about 50. It's a fairly warm day, so you know that's not too bad. Alright, there's coming down a little bit. It, it takes it a little bit of time to, you know, kind of get it uh, you know evened out. So I'm going to let it run for a minute, and uh, then we'll go inside the car and see if it's cooling. Alright, let's go inside and see what the thermometer says. Uh, it's starting to cool. Right now it's at about 48 degrees. I'm gonna get a little air moving through it. Yeah, it's still dropping. I mean, it's, it's definitely working. All right, let's go back outside. allow the pressure to uh, equalize and then remove the high pressure side so let me shut the car off here That's off. Alright, next. Start the car with the AC system on. Open the machine valves. Shut it off again. All right, now I got to remove the low side.
All right, now it's cleaning the hose, and that's basically all there is to it. Um, all right. Ah, here. I'm like, where the heck did I put the covers? All right, the whole important next step to this is to take this thing for a ride, and a ride in comfort. So... Uh, let's clean everything up here. Oh, I got really good condensation going right here. Um, so I know it's it's definitely, you know, working. It's all condensating just like it should. So that's, uh, that's good news. All right, so we got fresh refrigerant in the AC system. So let's take it for a drive and check it out. You can already feel the cool coming out. overcast day but it is warm today now that looks good good in here. Of course I got the windows open but I, it still feels good to have that nice cool air blowing over you. Alright we are back rolling back in up and running. I hope you enjoyed the little air conditioning adventure. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell right next to it for the notifications and click the like button.